Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review by Project. I'm Psycho again with you today, and in this one, I am going to be reviewing um, Telltale's Batman, the final part. So, let's just get on to the story. The story of the final part begins with the... with one of your decisions that you made in your previous games. Depending on who you didn't stop um, in the previous games, the Gotham Police Department will be under attack either by Penguin or Mayor Dent. Well, um, Penguin's drones or Mayor Dent's enforcers. And so, um, there, in the beginning you are forced to take the first decision actually. Um, if you stop Penguin in the previous episode, you will have to deal with Mayor Dent. And if you stop Mayor Dent in the previous episode, you will have to deal with Penguin. Whichever villain you stop um, in the final part is arrested by the GCPD and Bruce's actions start improving public opinion towards him and his position as CEO of the Wayne Enterprises. Um, after some of the story that unfolds throughout the game, um, you are forced to take another decision and while facing Vicky. If you unmask yourself, uh, Vicky is initially shocked and views Batman as a selfless savior um, just like her father was. Um, she refuses to view Batman as a hero um, and takes off a small chunk of his right ear with her staff. If you don't unmask yourself as Batman and choose to attack instead, you will you will briefly free Alfred and punch Vicky, but she will retaliate by using her staff to take out um, Alfred's left eye. So that's as far as the second decision goes, and in the final decision, you can again, as in the previous parts, go as Bruce or as Batman. And um, if you go as Bruce, you will use the opportunity to begin repairing the Wayne family reputation and promises to use his company to either support the Gotham Police Department or improve Arkham Asylum. Or if you go as Batman, you will talk to Gordon in an alleyway and express um, your support towards Gordon, the Gotham Police Department and the city. So, the, the pretty much most interesting part for me was the final part of the game. Um, which takes place in a random bar where it is revealed that a John Doe has escaped Arkham Asylum. Um, you as Batman respond to the news of this, the assassination attempt. Depending on who is nearly assassinated, John Doe will either make plans to see Bruce Wayne again or take a shot at topping what nearly happened outside of Gotham Police Department. So, as far as the gameplay and the graphics go, well, it was said in the previous parts and I'm just gonna say it again. Um, the graphics and the gameplay have not been changed. It's pretty much just the story that has been, that has been, well, changed. <laughs> that has been unfolding um, due to, according to your decisions in the previous parts and the things that you did in the first four, four parts of the of the story. So, as said, the gameplay is still a point-and-click game with some actions that you have to take throughout the throughout the story and the decisions that you made in the previous parts affect the final part as well. Um, so, the graphics have still been kept the same, the, the awesome Telltale comic style and everything, which, again, said I really love. And the story itself is really, really awesome. So, if you like these kind of games, I recommend you play them because the the gameplay isn't complicated and the story is awesome. So, that's gonna be all from my side. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the videos, and I'll be joining you in the next review that I make, which will not be Batman.